Today we're making an iconic Spanish tapas, dates stuffed with manchago cheese wrapped with prosciutto. Let's cook. Start with some dates. I'm using pitted dates, but you can easily pit dates if you can't find ones that are pre-pitted. And we just want to do a slice down one side of it. If you accidentally slice it in half, I will show you what to do a little bit later. This is Manchago cheese. We want to grate it on the small side of the grater, not the large side, the small side. The grated cheese is just going to be a little bit of a garnish on top, so we don't need that much. Now cut 8 inch slices in the Manchago cheese. I'm cutting a little bit too much cheese for the amount of dates here, but that's fine. Cut these into batons, just 8 inch wide strips. You don't have to get too crazy. We just want to make sure it fits inside of the date. Clean off our work surface here. We need one slice of prosciutto for every two dates. Fold the slices of prosciutto over. This will make a nice crispy thick layer on the outside of the dates. inside of the date where the pit was and place some cheese inside. You don't have to get too crazy here. Just place the cheese inside and then roll it up into a nice tight package. I'm going to do this with every single date. Now, I'm only making six, but you can make as many as you want. Just stuff the cheese in there, then roll it up in the prosciutto. If you have serrano ham, that would be excellent. Here's the date I actually cut in half. Just place some cheese in there. And make a little sort of date cheese sandwich. And then just roll it up. The ham will keep the two sides together. The sheet pan covered with aluminum foil just to help for cleanup. No oil, not necessary. Take our dates and we're going to put them in a preheated 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Doesn't that look amazing? Let's try it. See the melty cheese, the crispy prosciutto. Oh man. Holy cow. Man, that's great. So let's talk a little about what this is and why this works. Now it may seem odd to have dates in a Spanish dish, but you have to remember that the Moors ruled the Iberian Peninsula for 800 years from 700 to 1300. The effects on Spanish food and culture and architecture and art just could not be overstated. So that's why this is here. But oh man, the distinct Spanishiness of the Manchago cheese with the crispiness of the prosciutto and that's, oh, it's so, so good. You should really try this. It goes great with drinks as it would have in tapas. It also would make a really, really great appetizer to a Spanish style meal. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Listen, click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks again and take care of yourself. Stay safe.